Shalom. Before I begin this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yom Shai, Ba'ashim Rachakwadash. And I also uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. They continue to rule very well to this very day. That is uh, also, as well, continually feeding the flock through the Spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yom Shai. And I also Shalom to the whole elect this uh, labor in this work as well that is uh, also pushing forth towards your salvation and uh, continually plowing in his work in this labor of love spreading this gospel to the other members of the whole elect in faith and truth and sincerity and also in all charity now um, the topic of this video is uh, going to be entitled the Lord will ease himself of his adversaries. Okay? And of course, if the Spirit has it to where I titled this video in a different way, um, of course, I'm going to give it another title. But, you know, this is uh, pretty much a uh, lamb back off of the uh, live stream that, you know, us and uh, the brothers and I camp did uh, last night concerning uh you know current events and really the majority of the time when we was uh, doing a live stream we was really jumping on our people you know so-called negroes hispanics and native americans and which really primarily was going to uh, this, uh judah uh benjamin and levi the southern kingdom all right the so-called negroes which uh if you uh we keep it up in the news you know you know, our so-called so-called Negroes, you know, we or should I say they have been um, making, I don't want to say noise, but, you know, they've been, you know, raising so-called concerns concerning uh, being taken out in the streets, you know, and speaking on the uh, judgments that's being that's being put on them. But. The thing is, is that the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai, who they ignorantly call Jesus. And likewise, also they call the Most High Yahweh and, you know, whatever, which their true names in the ancient Hebrew. Uh, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh and the Son's name Yahweh Shai. They don't understand that the, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai, has reserved judgment for the majority of our people. Okay. Because now two thirds of our people have been made uh, adversaries to to him, all right. Now two thirds of our people are made adversaries to to the Lord, man. Okay, why? Because they have consistently, through our time, disregarded the words of Yahweh Bashem Shai. Has uh, lightly esteemed Yahweh Shai. And has touched his beloved, all right? In which, who are they? The elect of the nation of Israel, all right? In which, if you go into the history, you know, uh, Israel has a record of uh, killing the prophets, okay? And the righteous men who were sent forth for their benefit, all right? And see, now the Lord is showing his hand, Okay? Now he's showing you how he really feels about two thirds of our people. Okay. So right now the Lord is no longer keeping silent and he is easing himself of his enemies and his adversaries. Okay. Because the main enemy and the adversary to the most high and to his son are uh, the Edomites, the so-called white man. Okay. That's his main adversary. All right. And the ones who are following right, right behind the coattails of his enemies is two thirds of our people. And guess what? If you're in league with the enemy, then that makes you an enemy. OK, that's why if you read in the book of James, if I'm not mistaken, it tells you that uh, friendship of the world is enmity with the most high. And who has rulership over over the world today? The so-called white man, Esau. OK, 
So if you're a friend of the world, that makes you a friend of Esau, man. And of course, again, if you're a friend of Esau, you were enemy of the Most High, man. Okay. So that's why he's dealing, uh, he's dealing, or bringing forth judgment towards uh, two thirds of our people because they have made themselves the enemies of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the precepts I have here. Uh, this is. The book of Isaiah chapter 1 and this is at verse 24 and this is what this uh, title is uh, based off of right it says uh, therefore saith the Lord Yahweh Ba'ashmiel Shai the Lord of hosts the mighty one of Israel ah I will ease me of mine adversaries and avenge me of my enemies see so the Lord says he's going to ease himself of his adversaries and avenge him of his enemies all right now, if you look up that word, uh, I'm see the word ease, if I can find it in uh, in the Hebrew here. If it loads, it's like you bear me. All right, so the word for ease is nacham. Okay, so it means to comfort oneself, to be comforted, to comfort oneself, to ease oneself. All right. All right, to comfort oneself, ease oneself. All right, to um, is uh, properly to sigh, to breathe strongly. All right. And also goes on to say to what? To avenge. Okay. So the Lord says he's gonna revenge himself or avenge himself of his enemies, man. Okay, that's if you if you go into the word uh nacham, all right, which is one of the definitions, right? And again, uh is that word uh avenge, right? Nakwam, all right, which I believe they may have um they may have uh, gone off on the blue letter on the word, okay? Because uh, Nakwam and Nakhum is uh, just alike, but they're different, okay? So, of course, the people that put the blue letter together, they may have gone off on it and um, and may have put Nakhum uh, instead of Nakwam, okay? But here's the actual word for uh, ease, okay? So it's nakwam, which means to avenge, take vengeance, avenge oneself. Okay, to avenge, right, uh, suffer so vengeance, to avenge oneself. Okay, to to grudge. Okay, so the Lord has a grudge against his adversaries and his enemies. Okay, so he said he's going to ease himself, or he's going to avenge himself of his of his enemies, his adversaries. Right. He's going to avenge himself of his uh, adversaries, and he's going to avenge himself of his enemies. Okay. Now move on from there. I'm gonna get the book of Luke, chapter 19, and this is at verse 27. All right, and this is how the Lord feels, man. You know that, contrary to popular belief, the Lord has enemies. All right, the Lord has adversaries. He has enemies, and if you uh, read in the scriptures, right? Uh, if if I can find it real quick. ahead and I'll pull this up in the Luke chapter 19 verse 27 the blue letter and I'll use this app or oh, the other app Let's see 19 and uh, 27 and I'll move over here Yep, so this is uh, the book of Exodus, chapter 23, and um, verse 22. Now, this is speaking on Yahweh Shai, right? Because you read a verse up, it says, Beware of him and obey his voice and provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions. For the name of Yahweh is in him. All right, that's talking about Yahweh Shai, okay? 
Now this is at verse 22. It says, but if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak. All right, so you have to obey the voice of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. That includes in this time to the time that he was in the flesh and until today. Okay. It says, and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thy enemies and an adversary unto thine adversaries. See? So even from the time the wind was coming out of the land of Egypt, the Lord had laid it down and said, look, if you obey my voice and do what I tell you to do, your adversaries are going to be my adversaries and your enemies are going to be my enemies. So who is the main enemy of Israel? Edom. All right. And, and not only just Israel. All right. The, the Israel of the Most High, which is the elect. OK. And who is the enemy of, of the Israel of the Most High? Even our own people. Two thirds. OK. So our enemies are now made uh, the Lord's enemies, man. OK. So going back to Luke chapter 19, verse 27 says, but those my enemies, which were not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. OK. And this is the Lord, man. This is the Lord saying this. OK. The ones who are of his enemies, which were not that he should reign over them. Right. And two thirds of our people don't want the Lord to reign over them. OK. You know, in this time today, in this current world, they don't want you how to to reign. OK. The reason why they don't want Yahweh Shah to reign is because once Yahweh Shah starts to, starts to reign, or when he uh, fully comes into rulership, all right, that's going to be a strict rulership. It's going to be under edicts, under laws, under statutes, under commandments that you have to follow to the to the letter. Okay, and they see that and they don't want to do that. Okay, so like we said in the live stream last night, the only uh, the only um, solution to this issue is death that's it man all right it's either you you bow down or lay down man okay so again it said but those my enemies which were not that i should reign over them bring hither and slay them before me okay so the lord wants these individuals slain before him okay this is the type of power that you're dealing with when it comes to the scriptures man okay when you really go throughout the Bible and you read about Yahweh Shai, you'll find out, you'll come to find out real soon that he's a real man of war. Okay? Now I had another, I had more precepts pulled up here. Let me see if I can grab them real quick. Uh, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50. Uh, it's like you. This is uh, Jeremiah, chapter... Uh, Chapter 30, verse 16, it says, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine, in, all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. See? So the Lord again says, them that devour us, they're going to be devoured, and all our adversaries, which are, are the Lord's adversaries, all right, are gonna be uh, gonna gonna go into captivity, okay? So the ones that have fought against Jerusalem, which Jerusalem represents the elect of the nation of Israel, guess what? They're gonna be destroyed, man. All right. Now I move on from there. I'm gonna get uh, there was another scripture I had. I want to grab. Right, so the book of Nahum, chapter 1, verse 2, it says, The Most High is jealous, and the Lord revengeth. The Lord, Yahweh Bashimel Shah, revengeth and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his, on his adversaries, and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. So this is reserved. This destruction, anguish, mourning, woe, famine, all that is laid up in store for his, for his enemies. Okay, that's the wrath of the Lord to come. Okay. So when the Lord sees this, he's going to be at ease. Okay, he's going to be comforted. He's going to he's going to avenge himself of his enemies and he's going to be comforted in doing that, man. All right? Because the longer that his adversaries and his enemies live, the longer he's going to be agitated and the longer you're going to see a lot more things happen. Okay? But 
you know, he's not going to be satisfied until blood is spilt. You know, that's the bottom line. Okay. And once blood is spilt, that's it. And then, and then he'll be satisfied. Okay. So I'm going to end off on that note. Uh, Lord's will. This was an edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. And until next time, once again, I want to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Rechak Wadash. Um, double honors to the apostles and the others of Great Millstone that rule well to this very day. And also Shalom, uh, peace and safety, and salutations to the whole elect that's laboring as well in this work. Uh, laboring and giving diligence to make your calling and election sure. And faith and truth and sincerity and all charity. And with that, let's say Shalom.